Hi guys, I hope that you're all doing really well. So today's video is going to be about Hot Guy Summer Fragrances. These are my top recommendations if you want to have a Hot Guy Summer this year, you must wear one of these fragrances. Now I have a mix of some designer, some niche, so some of them are a little more affordable, some of them are super pricey. You pick depending on your budget, but I have a variety here of everything and in my opinion these are some of the best 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 fresh fragrances for men. I am going to start out with the most basic in the list but yet fantastic. This is Bleu de Chanel, the Eau de Parfum from Chanel. The Eau de Parfum is actually my favorite concentration. I would recommend getting the Eau de Parfum. Although all of you guys know it, maybe some of you find this to be super basic. I am telling you right now as a woman Bleu de Chanel works. I have over 1000 fragrances in my fragrance collection and I still love the way that this smells on a man. It is so incredibly sexy on the skin. This is masculine and fresh. It has a little bit of a pepperiness, a little bit of like a pininess in there. You have a slight incense note underneath to bring a little more depth and character to the fragrance so it's not just a boring citrus scent. It is just incredible, you guys. Longevity and projection on the scent is around six to eight hours of really good wear with a nice minimal like arms width projection. So definitely check this fragrance out. Don't judge it just because it's popular. Uh, Bleu de Chanel, it works. I am telling you as somebody that reviews fragrances as my job, this fragrance is still sexy to this day on a man's skin. So definitely Bleu de Chanel is a hot guy summer fragrance. You can wear it anytime, anywhere, in any temperature and it's going to work. Next up we have Mephisto from Casamirati. Now this fragrance is definitely on the pricier side, but it smells expensive. Like this fragrance smells luxurious. What you're going to get with Mephisto is this really cooling, smooth, musky citrus scent and it is just spectacular. This would make a fantastic signature scent for a man, but especially I'm recommending it for the summertime because it is very fresh. This is not a citrus scent that just smells of citrus. This is so much more. You have this beautiful smooth muskiness, this kind of cool airy feeling. Like when you wear this fragrance, you're immediately going to feel relaxed and cooled down. Like you're going to feel like Mephisto smells super classy, super luxurious, super refined, super elegant and effortless at the same time. Longevity and projection on this one is fantastic. It lasts around eight hours on the skin with a minimal projection. So this one is definitely going to last on your skin and probably get you compliments as well because it has a very appealing DNA. If you like the fragrance Creed Silver Mountain Water, but you wanted to maybe get something even better, try Mephisto because they really smell similar, but in my opinion, Mephisto is better. So definitely check it out. Mephisto from Casamirati, a wonderful signature summer fragrance. Again, this is something you can wear all summer, whether you're going to the beach, whether you're going to the club, whether you're going on a date, you can wear Mephisto and it's going to smell fantastic and very luxurious. Next up, I'm going to quickly touch on this one. I have been speaking about this scent a lot recently. It is Vibrato from Sospiro. Now, a lot of people think that this fragrance smells really similar to Tiger from Bulgari and I must agree, they smell super similar. Um, Vibrato is this incredible, vibrant, sexy, addictive citrus scent. You have a lot of juicy citruses on top like grapefruits. You have this kind of slightly green herbaceous quality in the mid, a little bit of a powdery touch. There is also a very, very, very slight sweetness in there and the base is very dry and woody. This fragrance is truly spectacular, a 10 out of 10 fresh fragrance, you guys, that smells, like I said, really addictive and really sexy on the skin. So this is a citrus that has an addictive quality. It is really incredible. Longevity and projection on this one is beast mode. It's going to last eight plus hours with a really nice projection. So I definitely recommend this one. Perfect for the summertime. I actually wore this all last summer and I got so many compliments wearing vibrato. 
it is a fantastic fragrance that I really recommend you guys check out for the summertime. Next up, I have to recommend the classic. For me, this is a timeless classic scent. For more of a sophisticated, more elegant guy, this is Terre d'Hermes from Hermes. Now, I actually recommend the Eau de Toilette Concentrate for the summertime because it has more of an airy feeling to it. Now, if you don't know how Terre <laughs> this is a beautiful vetiver scent. You have a little bit of citrus and spiciness on the top, followed by this beautiful kind of dry, fresh woodiness going on. And it is just incredible. Like I said, especially if you are more of this refined and classy gentleman, or at least you want to portray that image, I would recommend trying Pedermez for the summertime. Again, the Eau de Toilette Concentrate is the best one for the summer because it has more of an airy feel to it. Longevity projection is fantastic on Pedermez. It's gonna last about eight hours on the skin with a really nice projection. 10 out of 10, classic masterpiece in my opinion. So definitely check this one out. It works beautifully in the summertime because it has this really citrusy, spicy, woody, feeling but it's very transparent at the same time so really recommend it to them as from Hermes. This next fragrance is the ultimate refreshing scent. This is Sedley from Parfum de Mali. My bottle is a little bit broken right now but if you have never tried Sedley you have to. This smells so incredibly refreshing on the skin. What you have in Sedley is a very prominent minty smell, but not like minty bubble gum or I don't know, like this synthetic type of minty smell. This really smells like fresh, real mint in the fragrance. You also have a little bit of lavender, some citruses, some musk, a lot of musk actually, and a nice light, transparent, woody base. Sedley is absolutely incredible, especially for the summertime. If you are going somewhere that is quite hot, maybe you're going to the Mediterranean this summer, try Sedley. It is going to work wonders. And let me tell you something about this scent. I have no idea how Parfum de Mali did it, but Sedley is beast mode. Like Sedley lasts on your skin around eight hours with a huge projection no problem, like no worries at all. Usually citrus fragrances have a hard time lasting on the skin, not with Sedley. This one is gonna last on your skin for like I said, eight hours plus with a huge projection. Just a fantastic fragrance. It's minty, it's fresh, it's vibrant. It's very smooth and watery and just incredible. I really recommend this one from Parfum de Mali. It is the best citrus from the brand. Next up is one of my favorite fragrances on a man period. And a lot of you will find this strange that I am recommending you this for the summertime, but trust me right now. This is Yves Saint Laurent Tuxedo. You guys, this fragrance on a summer night mic drop. One of the most intoxicating scents that I have ever smelled. It just works magic on a summer night. I often get asked by you guys, is this still my favorite fragrance for men? Because I made a video saying that this is my number one fragrance on a man. Hands down, it is incredible. And yes, it is still in my top five fragrances for men ever created. Tuxedo is absolutely incredible. What you have here is a little bit of spice, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of this kind of leathery quality, like a nice smooth kind of suede leather. There is a little bit of a green touch in here and a little bit of like a sweet amberiness as well. It is just insane, this fragrance, you guys. I cannot tell you how good this scent is. You're just gonna have to go and try it. It is fresh, sweet, slightly green, a little bit leathery. Oh my gosh, it is just incredibly addictive on a man's skin. Like I said, I really recommend this one to you guys on a summer night. If you trust me, that's it. Longevity projection on the scent is around six to eight hours with a nice minimal projection. It's not a beast mode fragrance by any means, but it is going to last on your skin. It's one of the best fragrances that I've ever tried on a man. I just find something about Tuxedo to be 
intoxicating and just incredibly sexy you guys i have nothing else to say okay guys next up we have roger parfum's elysium cologne now i actually just saw that they released a cologne intense of this fragrance so i'm really really looking forward to smelling it but elysium you guys is such a refined citrus scent it is so smooth so elegant so refined it is just beautiful you have some lemon you have bergamot grapefruit vetiver juniper berries it has a little bit of this kind of smooth bitter citrusy feeling a little bit musky a little bit woody it is just fantastic for me this fragrance smells really really natural and really expensive just like i said about mephisto these two fragrances have this really expensive and like luxurious feel to them even though they are fresh scents they just have this really refined and elegant feel so definitely check out roja elysium the longevity projection on this one is fantastic it lasts about six uh, six seven hours on the skin with a really decent projection it's gonna last it's gonna get you complimented you're gonna feel fantastic while you're wearing this scent it is just close to perfection as far as a fresh fragrance goes for men this fragrance is close to perfection so elysium from roger parfums you can see my partner he actually wears this fragrance all the time it's one of his favorite fragrances hands down in our collection he loves this one and i love it when he wears it as well next up we have a fragrance from caron and it is pour un homme du caron le matin now let me just say something the original pour un homme du caron and this fragrance smell nothing alike uh, if you guys know the original, it's this beautiful lavender vanilla fragrance. It is fantastic, but it does have a very vintage feel to it. This fragrance, on the other hand, has a very modern feel to it. Now, what you're going to get here is this beautiful, fresh and vibrant fougere fragrance. You have some bergamot, you have oak moss, you have lavender, geranium... You have a little bit of a nice dry woody base. I absolutely love this fragrance. It's fresh, a little bit aromatic, herbaceous, a little bit woody in the base. It is just fantastic. This fragrance flies super under the radar, but you need to try this one. You need to check it out. Pour un homme du Caron le matin. It is freaking fantastic. Like I said, bergamot, lavender, oak moss. It's quite citrusy. It's quite aromatic and herbaceous but it is fantastic. Longevity and projection on this one is around six hours, six hours, seven hour mark with a nice minimal projection. It smells clean, smells fresh, smells refined and luxurious and it is just fantastic. So really recommend this one from Caron. It smells great. Next up, we have a fragrance from Zerzhov and this is 40 Knots. Now, this is another fragrance that I would recommend wearing on a summer night, especially especially if there are women around because this fragrance is super super sexy and really addictive on the skin 40 knots to me it smells quite similar to this fragrance from christian dior called ombre nuit i'm just actually checking the notes on sniff and there is marine notes woody notes and honey which is strange because for me it smells so similar to ombre nuit like it smells like there is a touch of rose uh, something kind of spicy and ambery in there. So the notes don't really add up so much. Um, but also, guys, if you wanted to read about any of the fragrances, you can check out my mobile application, Sniff, uh, where there is all of the information about the products in this video. But 40 Knots for me is this gorgeous, kind of fresh, spicy, ambery, slightly marine, slightly metallic a little bit kind of woody scent and it is incredible and so addictive on the skin wear this one on a summer night and it's going to work wonders i get about eight hours of really good wear with 40 knots with a nice projection like it definitely projects within your arm's length and people can smell you th with this one kind of fresh spicy ambery a little bit woody a little bit metallic a bit marine it is just so interesting, but such a beautiful fragrance. Next so up, we have a new 2023 release from Goldfield & Banks. This fragrance is called Ingenious Ginger. Now, you guys, this has become my new favorite citrus fragrance from Goldfield & Banks because you 
are not ready for how incredible this scent is. Ingenious Ginger, like the name would suggest, is worked around the note of ginger, but it is so much more than that. What you get here is some citrusiness. You have that beautiful ginger note. There are some florals in the mid, but you don't really feel them too much. There is a beautiful sandalwood note and there is the patchouli in there, which you do feel in the base of the scent. You can feel the patchouli and there is a slight sweetness to the scent. It is just spectacular. It's juicy, it's vibrant, it's smooth. Like I said, it has become my favorite citrus offering from the house. This is the one to check out. If you can check out any, try Ingenious Ginger. It is fantastic. So next up we have Vetiva Overdrive from Locust. Now this fragrance is for all of my Vetiver lovers that are watching me right now. I personally love the note of vetiver. I think it smells so classy. Like vetiver, it just has this really classy and refined vibe to it. It's such a beautiful, woody, kind of earthy note. And it just smells fantastic in my opinion, especially on a man. Now, vetiver overdrive is what you would imagine a summer vetiver to smell like. Sometimes vetiver can come across too woody, too earthy, too deep, too smoky. In Vetiva Overdrive, it is blended with the perfect notes to make it a little more uplifting. You have some bergamot, you have geranium, you have some cedar, ambroxan, and of course the vetiver. You do feel the freshness. The vetiver in here is very nutty. Like it really has this nutty feeling to it. Like I said, the vetiver note in here has a really nutty effect but it's just perfect. It has a little bit of the freshness. It has those woody tonalities. It has a bit of a muskiness. It is just fantastic. You love vetiver. This is like your summer vetiver scent. And finally, we have Bodicea the Victorious Night of Love. This fragrance is pricey, but it smells pricey. There is something super luxurious about the way that Night of Love smells, and I cannot put my finger on what it is, but it smells super, super refined. Night of Love is this beautiful, very fresh, but smooth, kind of leathery, green, woody fragrance, but still very fresh at the same time. Now, when I smell it on the tester strip, it smells good, but it smells way better on a man's skin. My partner, he wears this fragrance quite a lot. And whenever he wears this scent, I always give him a compliment. I always tell him he smells really, really good when he is wearing Night of Love from Bodicea. The longevity and projection as well is fantastic on the scent. You get about eight hours of really good wear with a fantastic projection as well. This fragrance is fresh. It is a little more on the green side. It also has this really smooth leathery touch and a soft musky woody base. It is absolutely incredible, you guys. Like I am telling you, spray this one on your skin, get a sample and see what I am talking about because it is absolutely fantastic on a man's skin. That is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about my top recommendations for Hot Guy Summer Colognes. Don't forget to check out my mobile application, Sniff. I have put the links in the description if you guys wanted to download the app, research any of the fragrances, read any reviews on the fragrances that I mentioned in the list today. And yeah, that is it. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.